We made it to Glacier National Park. It's smoky <laughs> and it was hard to find parking at, the, at our first stop, which is a bummer, but we're gonna make the most of it. It's good, the sun's coming out. I sort of see blue sky. So we're just starting our journey through the park this afternoon, it's 3.30, walking on the Trail of Cedars, which is not even a mile round trip. We brought nothing with us. So hopefully we don't see a bear because we're not prepared. I mean, I have my keys. So yeah, we're gonna just do this today and we'll take you with us. here at our campsite. We're staying right outside the park because all the campgrounds were full. Staying at the Timberwolf RV and camping and cabins place. It's about 10 minutes outside of the West Park entrance and we made a little living room here and also car Tetris because we were trying to find the flattest spots for our car because this campground is basically on a hill. So we've had our dinner. It is eight o'clock. We're, we're repacking the coolers with fresh ice and washing our dishes and getting ready for bed. We're gonna get up and get into the park around 6 a.m. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. This campsite that we're in does not have bear lockers. And even though it doesn't really seem like there's a lot of usual bear activity, we still have to sleep in our cars with our food in here. And everything's packaged, put in containers, but still. <laughs> so I didn't want to crack my windows open as much as I normally would. So they're just open like this much, which I hope is not enough for a bear paw to fit in. But anyways, so because it's going to be kind of warm in here as a result of that, I'm using my little fan for the first time. And I've got it angled right on top of me so going to bed good night good morning we're on lake lake apgar in glacier national park we set out a little before 6 30 and it's not too busy here yet nice and quiet there's still smoke in the air, but the mountains are starting to appear. I can even see some green over there, lots of birds out. And we're um, down at the Lake McDonald Lodge. We're doing a driving tour of the Going to the Sun Road. We'll take you along the Going to the Sun Road today. It's a beautiful morning. All right, Glacier Gary, who I've named our uh, gypsy guide, that's the name of the guide, just told us that somewhere up there is where we're about to drive. So here we go. The sky is clearing up and we're starting to feel mountains and snow.
a short hike, we're going to Bering Falls and then to St. Mary's Falls. We've got our backpacks with our bear spray and a little lunch. And all of this burn zone is from a 2015 fire. Chipmunk, you are not going to get our lunch. You're very cute, but no, no, no. Post hike, feet in the lake. Living the good life. Minus the bugs that Alana's flooding. <laughs> Swatting the Stupid flies. <laughs> flies. Check out this rock. And all of these fruity pebbles. Oh, this one's cool. Follow the yellow brick road. Maybe Wizard of Oz is going to be at the end. All right, for our afternoon, we drove over to Many Glacier, which is on the eastern side of the park, and it's colder here, and it was raining on the drive. Now it's not, so we got the layers on. And now we're at the Mini Glacier Hotel, taking in some more beautiful views. There's a bear with a baby. A mama bear and a baby bear. I know, there's a baby. Black bears. I'm having beans with cheese and tortilla chips again tonight and some fresh veggies. There was a fly on my phone. Good morning, good morning, everyone. It is, I don't even know what day it is. Monday, July something, 12th, I think. And um, we're still in Glacier National Park. It's our last full day here. We tried really hard to 
park at Logan's Pass Visitor Center. We got there by 7.30, which, you know, we were out of the camp at 6.20. But it is just glommed with people, and there's no parking. So we circled around, circled around until 9, and then finally decided, you know what, we're going to go somewhere else. So we left the Going to the Sun Road. We're now on the east side of Glacier with stunningly beautiful views off of the highway. Okay, that was a truck. And so we are headed to Two Medicine, which is kind of in the southeast part of the park. And I've heard that it's really nice. We got a recommendation from a ranger for a couple different hikes to do there. And we're hoping, fingers crossed, that it's not going to be as busy as the going to the Sun Road. So we'll take you along the way. Oh my God, it's a trailhead without a million people. We found it, finally, we can go hiking. It's only uh, 11 a.m. <laughs> Started at 7.30, 7.30. Well, we really left at 6.20. But we got to that so. parking lot at 7.30. Oh, I actually think I can see a trail up there. And maybe that's where we're going. So we're headed out on the Scenic Point Trail, which I think passes some waterfalls. And we're just gonna kind of go as far as we feel like and then come back and explore around two medicine. I've made it up to tree level. And I wonder, I think this is our trail, I wonder if we end up and can see what's on the other side of that. Going up and up and up some more. These are my favorite little twinkly trees because they twinkle in the breeze. Cool trees, cool views. Butterflies are everywhere. Little purple ones. I think we're gonna get to see the other side in a few minutes. Well, this is as far as I'm going to climb on this scenic point trailhead. It is beautiful up here. <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> I love it here. <laughs> gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, I'm going back down. Running Bear Falls. <laughs> Named after the first famed female tribal warrior of the Blackfeet tribe. She was the only woman who was bestowed a man's name.
Yay for wi finding water at the end of hikes again. Feels so good. Okay, it's not the Logan Pass Continental Divide sign, but you know what? It's on the Continental Divide, which is exciting enough for us. Okay, so Glacier Gary taught us some things about the Continental Divide that I didn't know before. Apparently, the water to the west of the Continental Divide flows out to the Pacific Ocean, and the water to the east of the Continental Divide flows out to the Atlantic Ocean. Of course, there are some exceptions that flow north or south, but generally that's the rule of thumb. Good morning. It's Wednesday morning, July 14th. <laughs> And we are headed out of Bozeman. We stayed in the um, Treasure State Hostel last night, right in downtown Bozeman, which um, I thought Bozeman was a really cute town. So um, I didn't really vlog anything yesterday because we just drove down from Glacier and then just checked into the hostel and had dinner and an ice cream and everything. But anyway, so this morning we're headed to Yellowstone. So I'm driving... Um, south right now on 191 which will link me up to west yellowstone and then i will enter the park from west yellowstone and head over to grant village which is where our campground is um we discovered the other day that there are absolutely no showers at any of the campgrounds in yellowstone right now for some reason because of covid they don't have the showers available um all the other campgrounds have showers in the national parks, but at Yellowstone, they don't. So took a shower this morning. Um, so we'll be four nights in Yellowstone. Um, yeah, it's been a, a nice drive so far, just kind of winding our way along this river. I'm not sure the name of this river, um, making our way down to Yellowstone. 